I'm participating as a, as a faculty fellow, which means that I am a, uh, a resource to any other faculty or staff who want to participate in the QEP. And the way I got into that role is that I was previously the director of the QEP uh, for our last incarnation of the, of the QEP. And I thought about sort of taking a break from it for a while, but as this one developed, I just saw there's so much potential, there's such a huge potential for impacting students that I really wanted to be involved. And so I'm involved as a faculty fellow um, to help people, whether it's the College of Business or campus-wide, um, who want to figure out how they might be able to use uh, QEP resources to, to make their classes better or the curriculum better or, or the campus better. So to me, I think one of the things, one of the most important things that people should get out of an education is um, not just the content, but the ability to ask good questions and then the skills to answer those questions. And so for me, this combines both of those in that the inquiry part is the ability to ask good questions, just figuring out what needs to be, what problem needs to be solved. Um, and so the inquiry part is asking good questions. And then the creative part is coming up with good critical thinking, problem solving techniques to, to solve those problems. So, there's, so the creative and inquiry um, are really sort of complementary aspects. The inquiry is about asking questions. The creative part is about you know, coming up with creative ways to address those questions. The content in human resource management is probably going to change within you know, every, every few years. And so what I, what I do in class is I, I use a lot of problem solving exercises so that students are um, thinking about how to use the content that they are learning, but then also to think about when this content is no longer relevant, how do you solve the same kinds of problems? You know, how do you recruit the best employees? How do you select the best employees? How do you compensate people? Because those sort of common questions are always going to be relevant. The answers may change over time, but with creative inquiry sk skills, you learn how to figure out what you don't know and what you need to know, and also you figure out some tools to, to address those questions as you go on. This QEP has um, such a potential for big impacts. I think that um, the QEP um, that we did before was a great one, but it was more focused on helping faculty do sort of smaller things in their classes, you know, make small uh, incremental improvements. Uh, this QEP was designed with resources available so that if people want to make big changes in their class, they can do that. But there's also the potential for changing you know, entire majors, entire departments, entire curricula. And so I think there's just you know, so much potential to make big lasting impacts on students and the culture of Tennessee Tech. Um, to me, that's the most exciting part. There's just so much potential um, for good things to come out of this QEP. The biggest reason is because um, you know I, I've, I've heard it and I've probably said it that wow I'd love to do X if we just had the resources and so now there are resources available and so almost anything that you can imagine um, you can do it whether it's financial help you need whether it's technological help you need if it's pedagogical help you need um, I really believe that with this QEP uh, if you if you can dream it you can do it I do think that's the one of the values of this this interdisciplinary approach is that we're really learning from each other you know I'm learning from people in in biology and in engineering and in art and so um, that cross-disciplinary collaboration is just opening up all sorts of doors that I don't think we've we've considered before and so I think that you know there are some faculty that um, would would love to, to try something new um, and so this is going to give them the opportunity to do that.